Hey guys, this is Frag2000 speaking. I joined the Fantastic Fish team a few weeks ago with the mandate of rewriting the AI and uh, the, the new phishing system. So what I'll do is that I will show you today where I am with it. Uh, mostly the AI is completely done for the fish. Uh, to not spoil all the details, I will show you one specific fish, which is the salmon. And I will let you discover all the other ones. So the salmon can be seen in two textures. Okay, first of all, uh, English is not my first language. So excuse me if I miss a few words from time to time. So okay, the salmon can be seen in two textures. There's the gray one and there's some kind of red one which look like chinooks. So the way the salmon behave, it's quite simple actually. They will prefer, this is a shallow river here, so there's not much water. But during the day, they will prefer deep water. But at dusk and dawn, they will come close to the surface to eat flies. So the way they behave in three steps is the following. The first one is to survive predators. So you will notice that the fish will always be afraid of any entities that is in the water. We're lucky here we have some kind of chicken taking a bath, which will scare off the fishes <laughs> away. And the big fish, will also scare smaller fish and if you go to water like I do now you will see that they won't appreciate my presence and they will flee away from me. The second step is to feed um, the biggest fish oh there's a big pike who spawned there it's probably looking at <laughs> yeah he's chasing smaller fish you saw that okay uh, what I was saying. Okay, yeah, so they're feeding. The, the first step was to survive predators. The second one is to feed. So uh, the, fi the, the fish are just chasing each one around, depending if they're hungry or not. Uh, at this point, I disabled the big fish being able to eat the smaller one because I was always ending up having just big fishes in my lakes, which was uh, really bugging me. So maybe later on, when I'll find a good balance, I will re-enable it. But for now, they're just chasing each other, but they won't kill the other fishes. The third step is to chill, take it easy, explore. And uh, the fourth step would be to reproduce. But uh, it, won't be, uh, it won't be done in the, the, the beta version. Maybe later on, but not uh, at this time. But I'm really interested in doing this, but uh, it won't be uh, covered for now. If I change the time, if I change the time of the day and put it at dusk, the salmon will come close to the surface to eat insects. So during the day they will be deep, at dusk and dawn they will be close to the surface. You will not notice that most of the salmon will come close to the surface now and some of them will even jump for flies. Yeah, we saw that saw that here so they would jump for flies and insects uh, in the system there is the salmon who does that and the trouts also let's watch for that a little bit more ah, we're lucky we got one here okay so uh, that's about it for the salmon uh, next week I'll talk about the sharks uh, I'm writing the sharks AI as we speak you'll be able to dive with them uh, they won't be aggressive mud they can become aggressive, but they won't be aggressive by default. So if you keep an eye on their behavior and uh, you don't uh, jump with them during their prime feeding time, you'll be mostly safe. But uh, there's few things that we'll be able to do that will make them aggressive, like uh, jumping in the water when you're hurt. <laughs> or uh, if they get curious about you and you don't get out of water, you, get, you might get attacked as well. But I'll give more details about that next week. That pike is really aggressive. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you guys. If you have any questions, post that on the forum. Uh, it would be my pleasure to answer that. And I'll uh, try to give you an update, another update in uh, two weeks from now. Thanks.